So the Oaks is about to happen. Since I interviewed Bobby Flay last night, I'm going to bet on Bobby Flay's horse, which is her smile. And if it wins, it'll make me smile. And if the horse doesn't win, you're dead meat, Bobby. But your horse isn't. <laughs> Do you, wear this, do you wear this many places? I wear it every day, actually. It's my lucky suit. <laughs> and what kind of luck did you have today? I won. Uh, I, I'm going home a winner. Yes. Not by a lot. But it was great. My bucket list. We're in the winner's circle celebrating with the winner, Plum Pretty. Well, even if you didn't win today at the Kentucky Oaks 2011, I hope you're feeling plum pretty. You better be looking plum pretty when you come tomorrow for Kentucky Derby. Maybe I'll win tomorrow. It's the first year you've done your beard well, paint. What? No, I did it last year also, and uh, as a matter of fact, this is the same hat I wore last year, uh, going pink for the Oaks, and... But I did talk to somebody from Yum, and they told me I can get a new bucket in October, so I can start doing this every year here and <laughs> make new designs on the hats every year. But no, it's a good cause, a lot of fun. And when I do uh, shave out the dye, it's all white. So where else can an old man get so many pretty women wanting to have a picture taken <laughs> off of? Just it's like a, this. Oh. It's a KFC hat yeah. with roses and on it and a my horse. Pink little ponies, they're little toys. <laughs> It's a fun derby hat. Are you going to start making it for the women? And maybe uh, any fashion designing in your future? No, nah, none whatsoever. This is just <laughs> just for the fun, and it uh, brings attention to the cause, and I have fun. Cool, man. What's your name? Eric. Eric, thank you very much. You're welcome. Enjoy. Oops. Thank you. <laughs> encourage responsible drinking by those who have legal age to drink in their countries or regions. So be safe, be legal, and never drink and drive.